गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग चैप्टर नंबर थ्री फ्रैक्शनल नंबर्स एंड टुडे वी विल सॉल्व फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट टू सो लेट स्टार्ट फ्रेंड्स एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट टू सम नंबर वन कलर द गिवन फिगर्स इन सच अ वे डेट दे शो इक्वल फ्रैक्शन एंड ऑल्सो राइट्स इट्स फ्रैक्शन in given box in this two shapes are given and we have to color these two shapes in such a way that they become equivalent fractions so let's start a part of the sum in this two shapes are given one shape is divided into three equal parts and its fraction is 1 by 3 second shape is divided into six equal parts and we have to color these two shapes in such a way so that their fraction become equivalent to each other so let's start with first shape it is divided into three equal parts and three is our denominator and one part is to color so one is our numerator students i have a circular shape it is divided into three equal parts i have to color one part out of three equal parts so i colored one part out of three equal parts of this circular shape now its fraction is 1 by 3 now students in this way i color one part out of three equal parts of this shape I have colored one part out of three equal parts. Now let's start with second shape. It is divided into six equal parts, and we have to color this shape in such a way so that its fraction become equivalent to one by three. Student, this is a circular shape. It is divided into six equal parts. Now I colored one of its part. Students, now compare. these two circular shapes are these shapes are equivalent to each other no these shape are not equivalent to each other now i color its second part now student again compare these two circular shape yes now these two shapes are equivalent to each other now students you saw two parts out of six equal parts are equivalent to one part out of three equal parts now students i color two parts out of six equal parts of this shape friends i have colored two parts out of six equal parts and its fraction is yes 2 by 6 now students you saw 1 by 3 and 2 by 6 are equivalent to each other because they represent the same part friends now we discuss b part these are circular shapes first shape is divided into four equal parts and its fraction is 3 by 4 second shape is divided into eight equal parts now students we discuss first shape it is divided into four equal parts four is our denominator and out of which three part have to color three is our numerator so students this is a circular shape it is divided into four equal parts now i color three parts out of four equal parts now students you saw i have colored three parts out of four equal parts and now its fraction is 3 by 4 now in this way students i color this shape students i have colored three parts out of four equal parts now let's start with second shape it is divided into eight equal parts now we have to color this shape in such a way so that its fraction become equivalent to 3 by 4 students i have a circular shape it is divided into eight equal parts now i color its one part now students compare these two circular shape are they equivalent no 
Now I color its second part. Now again compare these two shapes. Are they equivalent? No. Now students, I color third part of its. Now student compare. No, these are not equivalent. Now color fourth part of the shape. Now students, these are not equivalent. Now I color fifth part of the shape. Now they are not equivalent to each other. Now I colored sixth part of the shape. Now students again compare these two shapes. Are they equivalent? Yes. Now these two shapes are equivalent to each other. Now students you see when I colored six parts out of eight equal parts these two shapes become equivalent. Now I color six parts of this shape. I have colored six parts out of eight equal parts. Now its fraction is yes six by eight. Now students three by four and six by eight are equivalent to each other because they represent the same part. Students now in your homework you have to solve A and B part of sum number one of exercise 3.2 on page number 88. Thank you.